Come in, Corneria. This is Fox speaking. Congratulations on Nintendothon. Well done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the one Star Fox that started it all on the SNES? This is the original Star Fox, released in 1993, I want to say. Coming equipped, fully equipped, with the brand spanking new at the time Super FX chip, which allowed it to process very basic 3D graphics, as you can tell from this polygonal ship and the enemies that are just spewing out left and right. But with me for co-commentary duties, I have another fellow Star Fox fan, Ryan. How's it going, Ryan? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm doing just fine. Ready to end day five of the Nintendo-thon with a game that I've been familiar with since, I want to say, 1993 or four. Yeah, I want to say since its inception, because I've seen my uncle play this a few times. He showed me some tricks of the trade here and there. Uh, with that said, folks, for this playthrough, I'm going to be taking things pretty easily, because um, let's go into the continuity of Star Fox. This game would be immediately rebooted <laughs> as soon as Star Fox 64, uh, known to you fellow Europeans, I believe, as Lilat Wars over there. This game over there is called Starwing. Uh, I think because of copyright issues with another thing, maybe a band was called Star Fox. I don't know. But yeah, Star Fox 64 immediately rebooted the franchise after the first game. And because Star Fox 64 is such a solid game, a lot of people aren't even aware of this game's existence. They think it all started with Lilat Wars or Star Fox 64, and I don't blame them. Really, there's no reason to play this game anymore. <laughs> but I do because I, 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 uh, I have some sentimental value with Star Fox. Now for the playthrough, I'm going to be sticking strictly to level 1. But uh, as for bonuses, because, um, you know, since I'm not doing level 2, which has Titania or Sector Y, or level 3, which has Fortuna and Macbeth, uh, I'm also going to be showing off the black hole, and I'm also going to be ending things with Out of This Dimension as soon as we finish the game, because that is the one and only true way you can finish this game. Are you ready to go, Ryan? Yep, I'm ready, and speaking of being ready, we already have a donation. Oh, read right away. From Waluigi's frigid mother-in-law. <laughs> Hi there, I hope my son-in-law isn't causing too much trouble for you guys. This is what I get for having my daughter Toadette marrying the guy. You guys get a pound and nothing more since his money is for, the, for my hair salon. <laughs> Always thinking her bank account's dry with her trips to the hair salon. It was it trips to Aruba? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go back to Mario Party 3 next year. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of stuff to bring with you, considering we're going to be meeting at too many games and stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah. If that is definitely uh, the plan to do, then I will definitely comply. Look at it, folks. Look at the 3D graphics. Look at how slow it runs, too. <laughs> uh, fun fact, I was at one point considering running the overclocked version on the ZSNES, which restores the frame rate to, I think, 30 or at the very least 60, but the game is nearly impossible to play <laughs> because it moves too fast. It's just it, like piloting a real starfighter. Yeah. An R-Wing. I wonder what it would be like to pilot an R-Wing. It probably wouldn't be as cracked up as it is as it ought to be. Twin blasters. Awesome. I think that appears if you fly through under all those loops. Yeah, we got twin blasters, though. Sometimes you get yellow... Uh, rings like that, which you fly over, it gives you a quick health boost. Now, sometimes you may see me take a shot and not take any damage. Uh, trust me, I am. Uh, Star Fox has wing damage, which I hate, because it makes your ship look ugly and you lose your twin blashes if it happens. Uh, any shot that doesn't take your health bar will most likely take your wings away. So you want to be very careful. Though I will say, the game running at such a sluggish frame rate because this is like one of the first SNES games to do this kind of shit. It does make it easier to dodge incoming projectiles because, again, the slow frame rate gives you more time to dodge. It's like human tassing, only not. <laughs> you can hold the left or right bumpers to tilt the ship in the direction you please, and if you double tap the L and R buttons, you do a barrel roll. Though not I do not quite, think not quite as useful as it is in 64. No, because it doesn't give you invincibility frames, I don't think. But then again, the barrel roll in Star Fox 64 only gave you so much to work with, too. Otherwise, what's stopping you from just barrel rolling all over the place? Yeah. I see you up there. 
Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this now for Star Fox, and if you think the game is running slow because of Twitch, no, that's actually just how naturally slow the game is. So my screen share is pretty much accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one to one accuracy. What a time to be alive. X to boost. Really good for those uh, pillars right there. And B is the, the boost to chase. Yeah, and uh, B is the uh, break button. Sometimes your fellow co-pilots are going to be in a pickle and you are required to help them out because unlike Star Fox 64, if you lose your R wings in this game, they're gone for good. You'll never see them again. So if you yeah, for Slippy. <laughs> yeah. Well, but this is before Slippy had the annoying personality of 64. As far as we're aware, everyone's all fellow and chill in this. Falco's not a dick. Peppy, I think, is about as old as Fox here in this game. He doesn't look like an old rabbit. And Slippy, uh, is Slippy. Yeah, but like in 1993, though, this game I thought looked, was so amazing looking. You know, it had voice acting, sort of. You know, every time you got an enemy coming at you, it was like, incoming enemy. Then you have uh, General Pepper in the beginning telling you, good luck. Anyway, this is our first boss. Star Fox 64 players may recognize this. Well, guess what? That was an homage to this game, the original. It's almost like it was a reboot or something. It's almost like 64 is way better. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Though nowadays, like, if you were to go back to Star Fox 64, would you revisit this game or the um, the 3D version? I mean, the, 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 the original 64 or the 3D version? Oh, the 3DS. Uh, well, the 3DS version's easier to access nowadays, but I, I don't really care either way. Because I, 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 I play on 64 mode for the uh, 3DS version anyway. Yeah, well, you mean like regular control stick and all that? Yeah. I can't play Star Fox 64 3D with uh, gyroscope. It just... Yeah, just can't do it. Your steering wheel is your screen. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, very disorienting. That's why I'm worried about Zero, whether they'll kind of force the motion controls on you. Um, at the very least, the gamepad screen is relegated to, like, special sections. Yeah. So, it should be that disorienting. If you score high enough in um, the end of the stage, you get an extra credit. Alright, so if I'm going to want to show off the black hole here while keeping on while keeping on my uh, pathway, I'm going to have to, I'm going to make a save state here, because, well, I'll explain how the black hole works when I actually get to that. Alright, I'm going to save my game here. No, I do not want to activate net play. What's there to net play for? <laughs> Asteroid belt. Andros's forces intend to build a base in this area. Destroy the rock crusher. Why are we the entirety of the Grenarian army? <laughs> Shut up, Fox. Shut up, you. By the way, according to this game, the R wings belong to General Pepper. So, was Star Fox a mercenary group as early as this game, or was it 64 introduced to that? I have no idea. You know what I really gotta do? I gotta get the manual. But nobody reads the manual. Yeah, so sometimes, well, it was worth it to read the manual in the old games. That's how you got backstory most of the time. So why are you doing first person mode? Uh, first person mode is something they automatically boot you into at the beginning of every of this, all the space stages. Uh, personally, I don't, but well, personally I prefer the air, <laughs> but uh... uh po poisonly. 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 <laughs> Uh, it's really good for being accurate with your shots. It doesn't really help you uh, determine where your ship's at, so dodging projectiles is a little more difficult. But I'm going to, for the sake of accuracy, stay in first-person mode because, well, I want to make sure I'm actually hitting stuff. And I need to be accurate as possible when I get to the black hole section because uh, unlocking the black hole has special requirements. Well, first off, I don't want to get hit, so I'm going to maneuver through this asteroid field. Actually, you know what? I made a save state earlier. Uh, I'm going to make a save state here when I see my first formation of rocks. Because uh, that's what we're looking for. I'll get him ribbit. Yeah, sometimes your R-Wing buddies will actually chase down enemies. They'll take forever. <laughs> but uh, you can kill steal them and they call you out for that. Well, maybe if you didn't suck so much. Yeah. Piece of cake. I didn't know somebody had a stuttering problem in this game. Well, maybe he's just really nervous. Yeah, possibly. Okay. That rock formation you see right there, that's one of our triggers for the black hole. Alright, so I'm going to save state here so I can load this file up. Because after I do the black hole, I'm going to load up this file again so I can continue on my normal pathway. Why I do that, you'll see. Oh shit, now I gotta load that save state already again because I fucked up. So, here's how you activate the black hole. You're going to have three formations of these uh, five asteroids here. You have to shoot the middle one when it gets as close as possible to you without crashing into it. 
first person mode helps determine the distance. Alright, that's one. You gotta have these enemies here to deal with in the middle of all this. So, uh, watch your back. Alright, got this one. Okay, that was a little too close. But this... Alright, that should be fine. If you do that fine, you're gonna see this asteroid with a face on it. Shoot the asteroid with a face. It becomes the black hole. The awesome black hole! Causes the music to flip the fuck out, too. So, when you enter the black hole... Oh, a star. Awesome. So, when you enter the black hole, you have about three areas you can exit out of. Uh, each of those gates take you to specific points in the map. I think the first gate takes you to Sector Y in Level 2. The second gate takes you to, I believe, Sector Z in Level 3. And the last gate warps you straight to Venom, the final area of the game. But enough about talking about where the black hole takes you. Let's go to the actual black hole. The awesome black hole. This space graveyard created by Andross's experiments is where your father disappeared or vanished. Fox! Two exclamation points. General Pepper really loves talking in double exclamation points. Yeah, so this... Shakespearean actor. Yeah. <laughs> Classically trained Fox! <laughs> I think it was shot in Norway. <laughs> Impossible to tell too many shapes. So many things flying at me. All these are Andross' experiments? Even the Arwing? Hmm. You got gates to shoot here, you get a twin blaster upgrade. This is the best upgrade you can get, by the way. These guns are powerful as shit. I love them. That right there is a warp gate. That's what you want to take first, if you want to get to Sector Y, I believe. If you keep going, the black hole will continuously loop. So if anything, it's a great way to beef up your weapons and get a shield before you leave the area. You can also get Nova Bombs right here. There's the second gate, I believe, that takes you to Sector Z. Don't want to take that, because I want to see what else the black hole has to offer. Yeah, just actually, it's a shame, but because but, when I load the save state, I'm going to lose all this. <laughs> Okay, it's a good thing I'm looting this because I just got hit like a bitch. <laughs> More Nova Bombs, your max is through five, I believe. I was about to say you're already maxed out. Yeah. So when you take a checkpoint, you exit the awesome black hole. And it takes you to Venom. Woo-woo. Now, if I were speedrunning this, that's what I'd do. We're not, though. <laughs> so back to the regular pathway, unfortunately. Thank you for watching. There is another secret level I intend to show off, but that's after we finish the game. What do we have to do to unlock that? Uh, that requires us starting the game over at level 3 and getting to the asteroid level there, which is the second level of the uh, third tier. But which shouldn't be a problem. It won't take us very long anyway. I think about five minutes total. Cool, cool. In the meantime, I'm just gonna shoot all these dudes. at the checkpoint right there that restores health, or a considerable amount of health, and recognizes your place. You got the Star Fox, you also have lives. And Peppy's getting chased down. Yeah, you can accidentally shoot your R-Wings. You don't hurt them, but they call you out on it. Maybe you should get the fuck out of the way? Get out of the way of my lasers. I don't know if Tom's watching this right now, but what does he think of the original Star Fox? Oh no, he knows it's a Star Wing, I'm sorry. I'm sure he'll get to us eventually. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure he's still up. This freaky fucking robot. I saw that robot losing his mind. Yeah, I think we're getting close to a boss. Watch out for these asteroids. You really do not want to be taking a direct hot shot with any of these asteroids. It hurts. And you really... And, you know, they let you know when you run into something painful. Because it sounds like your ship takes a beating. These triangle formations like to reform after you shoot them in the center. All right, boss battle time. More shapes. Tom says I don't know if it was just my controller, but I thought it was a tad stiff. Mm, you know what? I don't know if it's about the the controller. This the game, the frame rate on this is so bad that you can mistake the stiff controls for just the piss poor frame rate. Quite possibly. All right, that should take care of the shield. Watch out, because that thing launches towards you once its health is depleted. After that, you just shoot the center, 
until it dies. Since I got twin blasters, its health goes down pretty fast. I can't wait to get another twin blaster. I love the orbs. And I just want to say the orchestral version of the Star Fox game that plays when you finish a space stage is fucking beautiful. This game's soundtrack in particular is just a fucking amazing. Yeah, that's a new word I just made up. A fucking amazing. And, you know, this game was considered technically impressive in 1993. I mean, back then you had to play uh, a few arcade games or maybe actually invest in a Jaguar to get graphics like these. The where did you learn to fly? Yeah, where did you learn to count? <laughs> <laughs> Warp drive! Where are we going, Ryan? To Space Armada, apparently. Space Armada. People that play Smash Brothers Brawl should recognize this theme playing in the background, if they can hear the music at all. The Andross Space Armada. The Space Armada consists of powerful battleships! Double exclamation points again. Destroy their energy cores! Good luck. What's now? Is that any different to shooting them down? Windows update, it's almost time for your upgrade. Let's reschedule that, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Confirm time and close. Thank you! Go away. <laughs> Immersion's ruined, Windows update. You know, not for nothing, I actually like the original version of the Space Armada theme rather than the Brawl remix. <laughs> yes! Twin Blasters! Let's rock this joint. What do you say, Falco? That's Wastefully. That ain't... That, that, that's Pepsi. That, that, that's Pepsi. That's Peppy. That ain't Falco. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Falco. <laughs> Ow. Ow. I need some yellow rings here. I need some health. What was that? Fruit Loops! Rinkas! No, Metroid. 3D Rinkas. The thing about ships, though, is that they're not. Sh if they're not moving towards you while shooting, they intend to kamikaze you. Let's head in. Yes, okay, this is the point of the... Uh, we're, we're destroying energy cores. We're heading into bases. The game automatically ejects you out of the first-person mode so that you can uh, enter this area. And the frame rate doesn't completely shit the bed door in this part. Because there's not much to load. Yay, shield! Which turns your ship into a wireframe <laughs> to cut down on costs and budget. <laughs> there's our energy it's, core. It's Star Fox's invisible jet. Yeah. <laughs> Booyah, that's one energy core down. And Slippy is immediately in danger. It's a space blimp! Slippy, don't call me out if you got shit piloting, okay? Ooh, a checkpoint. Checkpoint, 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 checkpoint. Yay, got it. Now let me continue shooting this space whale. And it's down. At the cost of a frame rate. Got two Nova Bombs at my disposal. I'm feeling pretty good. I'll follow you in. Thank you, Peppy. Didn't ask, but you're, but you're a nice guy. Where's my dad? He's in the black hole, apparently. <laughs> the awesome black hole. Slow down, Fox. What do you mean? I am slow down. Go, gotta go fast. Yeah. Uh, sometimes that, that dialogue right there can interchange between Falco and Peppy. Uh, Falco tells you to slow it down. Peppy screams at you to use your retros, which in this game means your brakes. <laughs> Alright, I sense another energy core. Ow! My wing! My other wing! Oh no, I'm on the verge of losing my shield. I lost my pretty, shield. Pretty smooth flying, Fox. <laughs> hey, fuck you, Falco. That's Slippy. That ain't Falco. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have some more donations. Right away? You have three pounds from Jalen Johnson. Decided to make one last donation towards Ganon's Fury before I get paid tomorrow, so that's three for Ganon's Fury. You have a 20 pound donation from Pete. 
Hey, you guys rock till doing sunshine of not your choice. Yoshi juice for everyone. Yes, it's just for everyone. And two pounds from annoying Dick Waluigi. <laughs> oh, hello. The green dinosaur is so easy to trick. Hope he likes bees. And I got his wallet in the process. Where? <laughs> Put this towards bomb is minion one in Pokemon because anarchy. since the final base of the stage, not the final area. That's Venom. Doesn't like me heading in there. It's giving me shit. Alright, let's take care of the power core. Try spinning, that's a good trick. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, careful flying here. Be afraid to use your brakes either. Says he gets wrecked. <laughs> well, so you're running into a lot of stuff. Luckily, these guys give me a lot of health rings, so. Alright, I think we're at the end here. Alright, boss battle time. Woo woo! After we go through this, like we just went through, it's like it's like that that flying flying through the ear canal sequence in Spaceballs. I, I I just love the tone of this boss battle. There's no music; it's just the whirling machination. It's flying around in circles. Yeah. <laughs> Round and round we go. Ow. I personally like it when we fly forward. Poisonly. Poisonly. Because this also causes the frame rate to shit the bed. Careful, SpongeBob. <laughs> Am I even hitting this thing? Sometimes I can't tell if I'm hitting this thing. That's the problem I have with this game in general. Yeah. You know, you don't have a lock-on marker, unfortunately. So... You, you can't hold A to charge your laser. No, you can't. Even with this awesome turbo blaster, you have to pretty much just hope for the best. I only you have like one left. Yeah, did I kill the other one? I believe so. I think I did, yeah. It looks like yeah, it looks like there's only one left. Backing up. <laughs> Backing up. Once I kill this last one, it'll reveal its core in the center. The core will fight back too. But it's it's much easier to hit because it's in the center, as opposed to this wall. I want to get closer to the wall, but that's making me nervous as shit. Because I don't want to hit my wing. Well, you don't seem to be hitting it. So. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna... There we go. No. Alright. I'm gonna veer a little closer. Aim a little upwards. No, I just missed it again, damn it. Alright, I'm about to just cop out and use my knuckle bomb. Using Nova Bomb. Now. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. They seem to be hit. This took a while in my test playthrough as well. Ah! 
got too close to the wall. Okay, at least I'll stop the battle with the full set of health. You have to redo the entire stage, or? I don't think so, no. Yeah, okay, we're back at the base. Okay, now you have to do it all over again. Everyone in the chat is going like, no, yeah. <laughs> One pound today from Terrence L. John, use the boost to get through. I don't want to boost here. Gotta go feast. No, I don't want to go feast. Gracias. Right, so I only got a single shooter. Oh, I can't even turn to the side while I'm driving through this hallway. That's interesting. Didn't know about that. Figure like make me less paranoid over you know clipping my wings. A fox without wings is no fox at all. We're back to the spitty room. Yay. Yay. Get pumped. I fly to the center. It helps me better with my orientation. That way I can get an idea of when the one on the bottom is approaching me from behind. Okay, good. All right. I think I may have a plan with this one this time. Because the one on the bottom is the easiest to shoot because it's so close to you when it slows down. This on the other hand... Okay, I'm killing them a lot faster this time. Maybe the twin blasters was my enemy. It's fucking with my depth perception. Ow. Okay, too close to the wall, too close to the wall. There's the core, there's the core. Shoot the core. Blast the core. Fuck yeah, end boss. Why couldn't you do that the first time? With my twin blasters. Maybe it was a lesson in humility. <laughs> All ships check in. Okay, I didn't understand a word of that, guys. <laughs> Speak English? <laughs> <laughs> poisonly. Poisonly. I saw you start talking poisonly. <laughs> All right, on to meteor. How much mana does this cost, General? <laughs> the battle base meteor. Be sure to use your retros if you're going too fast. Be careful with my R wings. You're what? Good luck. Uh, good luck! You're kind of relying on us for everything, Pepper. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up, you! I don't know if I should stick to this mood. Okay. Hey, isn't he, by the way? Get lost, statutely fiend! I got you, Peppy. You'll be fine. Okay, yeah, my ship was closer to me for some reason. Hmm. How peculiar. Oh, I missed a Nova Bomb. Yeah, this is where they want you to use your boost because these things pop in even worse than the other pop in that we've seen earlier. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, no! Now you got twin blasters again, yay. Yay, twin lasers. Fuck yeah! It's the simple things in life, folks. Learn to appreciate that shit. Get rid of this crawly 
things here. Be careful, you can walk you can still run into their corpse. What the hell was that? I thought I heard a lawnmower. <laughs> a space lawnmower. Oh, it's a helicopter. No, I mean in the game. <laughs> hmm. Extra life, thank you. That's what you shoot those things for. And I inadvertently save slipping. I mean, yeah, I slice up like... Hooray. Oh, okay. Luckily, I think I'm coming to a checkpoint ring pretty close anyway, so... I'll be able to restore all this damage out! Where did that building come from? I don't know. Where did that stationary object come from? <laughs> yeah, who, put, who parked their meteor here?! Oh, God. That hurts. God, oh no, right next to a checkpoint! <laughs> I was using my retros, but I didn't retro soon enough. Damn, right before a checkpoint, right at the beginning of the stage again. So at least I can get my twin blasters. And everyone's reacting to the failure. Yeah. Oh. It's even worse because it was right next to a checkpoint. That's like tripping at the one yard line. Twin blasters. <laughs> we have a three pound donation from Joe Hyun. Hey guys, today has been a high point for the marathon. Put this donation towards Ganon's Fury. Also, John Ryan, what do Luigi and Waluigi think of the Batman v Superman movie? Luigi wants to really like it, but DC gave me very little reason to be hyped for it. Why do we do more for Suicide Squad? <laughs> uh, of course you do. What can the Suicide Squad do that the Batman v Superman movie can't? Be original. We have a two pound donation from Manic Depressed Luigi. Hello, it's Luigi. I went to the store to get some more Red Bull since Mario keeps stealing the Red Bull. Take this two pounds and put it towards whatever. Now, if you excuse me, Dave, I need to take Yoshi to the hospital. <laughs> I had to do the boys because John's playing. Oh, okay. Helicopter mooks run right into you. If left, along for too, left alone for too long. Uh, if I'm lucky, that that mechanism that gives me an extra life when I shoot the 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 points may respawn. You were supposed to get through. Fuck you, Peppy. Get good. Oh, says the man that died next to a checkpoint ring. Shut up, Peppy. Hey, Peppy says, I got one, I got one. <laughs> he shots an R-Wing down. That was Peppy, you fool! <laughs> Ooh. I didn't get the Nova Bomb, but at least I got past it. Holy shit, guys. It's like the only thing you learned in R-Wing course was how to pilot an R-Wing. <laughs> it has weapons! <laughs> Do something. <laughs> Alright, boss battle time. It's like some like space daddy long legs. Ow. Alright, you wanna shoot the legs on this thing. The legs will eventually come off. In fact, I got the Nova Bombs to spare. I can use one right now. Alright, after that, it's gonna spin. And then it's gonna attempt to ram you. While spinning, your shots are reflected. So, um... At this point, the only thing you can do right now is dodge. If you're high up, it will fly up and uh, zoom in towards you. If you're low to the ground, it will follow suit. So keep that in mind. All right. Okay, the wings are red now. That means you can shoot them. I'll use another bomb here. I should soften things up in my favor. Oh, it's flying pretty high. All right, I got this. Oh, watch out for the flamethrower. He will shoot twice, 
Why does it have a flamethrower in space? How does it have a flamethrower in space is a better question. <laughs> Maybe this asteroid has its own atmosphere. That'd be something. Now you're just a big ass clock. Well, now you're nothing. Because you don't have your spider legs. But you know what I got? Twin blasters. Fuck yeah. Oh, but you got a flamethrower too. I wish I had that. Wouldn't do you much good in space, but whatever. Hey, if you can use it in space, I don't know why I couldn't. And you're dead. You don't have time to answer that question. Better now. Clear a stage, you save your buddies, get points, and you restore the frame rate to 30 frames. Because it's automatic. Yes, and there's nothing else to load. Hey. I'll take any extra lives I can get. What's the point tally for extra lives, if I don't mind asking the chat? Yeah, well, why you guys uh, answer that for me? It's time to head into the final planet, Venom, which is broken up into two stages. Woo. Venom, the final goal. Andros is hiding on Venom! Fox, you must find his core brain and destroy it! Good luck. What's a core brain? <laughs> Peppy, that wasn't even fucking ten seconds, man! Holy shit. And you wonder why it's called Star Fox! <laughs> well, it rolls off the tongue better. Yeah. I mean, if it was Peppy, it would be Star Hair. Yeah. Star Hair... Uh, Falco. Star Falcon. Well, he's not a Falcon. I think he's a f uh, Pheasant? Star Pheasant. And I guess Star Frog comes close. No, no it doesn't. I love these ships right here, pay attention to when I kill it. It's a pilot ejects out of the seat. <laughs> and it's mode 7 glory. Doesn't happen all the time though. But I kill that one, that one just, I guess I decimated the pilot within the ship. It's kind of grim if you think about it, don't think about it too hard. You are killing people in these things. No, 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 they're robots. <laughs> right? That's what General Pepper told me. <laughs> General Pepper lied. <laughs> yeah, you also think these are his R wings. I mean, how crazy can <laughs> I was, you get? I was about to say, General Pepper says a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> this guy just goes bugs the balls to the walls nuts, and there's two of them. As soon as they get in range, they just, like, activate machine gun mode. I see a ship right there. Oh, I see the twin blasters! Boogie on your six. There's no one behind you. Stop lying. Oh, you're talking about me? Fuck you! <laughs> Maybe if one of you guys had my back. Yeah, you wouldn't be considered me a bogey. Checkpoint. Thank ye. Oh, you again. Don't give these guys a chance. They're like ninja ships. They go all wireframe for a second, thinking you can't see them, but you can see them. John Cena, these are not. John Cena wishes he had Norwing. John Cena get... wishes a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Peppy. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Alrighty then. Making good pro Ow! Making good progress as I Ran get right hit into, that into one. an enemy. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Phantom. It was like Phantos or something like that. Anyway, this, guy's a, this guy's a tricky dicky. Like to use after images, like to actually dodge your attacks. But uh, as you can tell, with the twin blasters, he's not putting up that much of a fight. Yeah, you can run in loops all you want, buddy. I'm still going to be here. Oh, he's breaking up into multiple copies. And he's running away. Did we shoot the core brain? Did we? Uh, did we? Yeah. Did we shoot the core brain, Peppa? Is that what you meant? You meant a ship, right? Yeah. 
That's incorporating the, the name of the next model. Yay! 100%. It's an instant 10,000 points. Right. If it means anything. I, I used to think 100% gave you an extra life. Are we on the final stage? Final stage. Stage 6. We're on Venom. And we're not... The music playing in the background is the... The Corneria music in Smash Brothers Melee. Alright, whatever the area was facing, that wall will turn in that direction, so keep that in mind. And watch out for these little platforms right here, because they like to spawn in front of your face. This is the only part of the stage that ever happens, if I recall correctly. So, uh, be careful. Ow. Peppy, again, 15 seconds. Okay, you're getting better, but, uh, preferably not in 5 second increments. When you got a boat on your tail next time, that better be 30 seconds. That's double the time. Okay, that one's heading left. Oh, right. Sorry. I want you have a one pound donation from SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> yeah. Stop on your right foot. Don't forget it. Donation goes to Iwata. I like Iwata. <laughs> <laughs> I like Iwata. Whoa. Well, poisonly. <laughs> poisonly? I prefer Iwata. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Peppy. You know, and it's Slippy who gets the bad rap. <laughs> it's the voice acting, really. Oh, okay. And Peppy actually, you know, gives you advice in the game. Well, by 64, he's considered the old guy who was part of the original Star Fox team. Yes. You know, I don't know what the manual states in this game, but I think he's just part of Star Fox's crew. And nothing more. Oh, these orange pillars. Like the blue pillars I destroyed in Corneria. Surely they wouldn't have me against- OH! THEY'RE COMING ALIVE! <laughs> Get away from me. Oh, shit. Very careful, very careful, very careful. I see a checkpoint, I see a checkpoint. Got the checkpoint! Alright. Oh, shit. I see a Nova Bomb. I see shadows, too. Ooh! Twin Blaster! But I don't need it. I'm gonna get anyway, though. God damn it! I hope yeah, so much crap being thrown at you. Yeah, I know. It's like the final level or something. What a dick. Boss battle time. Oh, it's this guy again. Dude, you got nothing to prove. What a jokester. He's not blowing up either. Oh! Whoa. Oh. Just shoot it, Fox. It's a transformer! Alright, best advice I can offer for this one is to while you're shooting the center, uh, just keep barrel rolling to the left or right. And then shoot it in the ass. After a while, it will go back. And then it will attempt to jump on you, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it looks like it's getting ready. Why can the spaceship jump? Get low. There you go. Now it won't land on you. Yeah, that hurts. I think it's like a third of your health that it manages to hit you, so... Be very cautious. No, you fucking don't. Ow. It's giving me pretty bad behavior. Come on, baby, smile for me. Alright, it's getting ready to do this jump attack again. I like to kill it before it does it again, because I really don't want this fight going on any longer than it needs to. And you're out! You're dead! <laughs> Took a pot shot as it was going out. Yeah. But... And the, the, uh, it falls apart when it dies, and it's, those are considered hazards, so watch out. So All we're right. on to Andros. We're on to Andros. The simplistic as look, I do like this entry sequence. Well, it's the same one in 64, so... Yeah. You mean the 64 is the same one as the SNES game? And 64 is better, so... Yeah, you're right. <laughs>
talking shit, are we? Ow. Alright, because I'm a total bitch. I'm gonna be using my brakes wisely here. Take your time, Andros can wait. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's not like he can anywhere. You wanna know why? Because he's a fucking head. Doesn't have hands though in this game. Yeah, that's generally Nintendo's favorite thing to do. <laughs> yeah. What, heads? Head, heads with, floating heads with hands. Yeah. Alright, so Andros here has two eyes, two fuck me lights for eyes. You kill those, you disable the face, then you gotta shoot his core brain. It's a square. <laughs> well, more Everything's like a, square in this game. It's more like a, more like a cube. Alright, you can't shoot his eyes when he's, um, sneezing, so. Just worry about dodging. Okay, that's one eye gone. Where did you learn to fly? <laughs> yeah, he does look like that face, doesn't he? <laughs> Cybermorph is so unoriginal. You know, Andros, if you continued inhaling for just maybe five more seconds, you would have taken my arming with you. I think a munch on it, like a snack cake, spit it out like tobacco. I assume this boss isn't terribly hard. Uh, in level three, and I think level two, it has a second form, it's a bullhead. Uh, which means he can just, um, he can shoot projectiles from his eyes. That's about it, though. And the core has more health. Oh, okay. Uh, besides that, uh, that's pretty much the only difference. Gotcha. And that's game! Hooray. Time. <laughs> yeah, time. All ships check in. You're all useless. Yeah, I'm useless. I'm useless two. I'm useless three. Poisonly, I Poisonly, prefer. I prefer to be useful. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Star Fox is one of those games where in uh, different difficulties you can uh, explore different planetoids and all that. Uh, very akin to Star Fox 64. Uh, though in Star Fox 64, your difficulty was changed depending on what you did in certain missions, though. Yeah, which I prefer. Yeah, I, I hear a lot of people prefer it that way. Uh, in this game, your difficulty is set from the very stage, you, uh, the very first stage you choose. The only way you can alter anything, from my knowledge, is the black hole. But you have to go to level one first in order to do that. Alright, but I have one more thing to show off before we end this run. Now I'm going to end this place on Out of This Dimension. I'll get more on that later, but first the credits. I'm going to mute my mic. Ryan, you want to do the same? And I'll turn the music up, because Star Fox's credit themes is fucking glorious. Fortunately, i got to pause the stream and pause the game in order to turn the volume up. This is Cornelia, Pepper speaking. Congratulations on a job well done. Roger, I'm heading back to Cornelia.
love how the credits are the music uh, <laughs> beat the credits. <laughs> it's completely silent now. So shall we fill the time then, John? <laughs> Let us fill the time. Do we have any more donations? Nope, not that I just checked. Alrighty then. So, uh, before we get into the last bit of the game I'm going to show off for uh, the Nintendo-thon session, uh, there was originally a Star Fox sequel planned for the SNES, Star Fox 2, uh, that would have some concepts that Lilat Wars or 64 would uh, reuse uh, to their benefit. But uh, Star Fox Zero are actually also using too, like the, the walkers that you see as Zero were originally a Star Fox 2 concept. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't, uh, I think the only reason why Star Fox 2 never saw the light of day is because the release date for it was so close to the N64's launch. And they figured, you know what, we got a new 64-bit console coming out, we can just show off the game there. Okay, unfortunately Star Fox is one of those games that where you get to the DN screen, you can't do anything. So you have to reset the game, which I would do now. Alright, let's show off the last bonus level for tonight. Now, we have to you... go through Corneria again. We have to go through level 3 Corneria. Oh wait, shit. Game's still too loud. There we go. There we go. Alright. So the final bonus level, out of this dimension, requires that you start at a level 3 path. Now, level 3 is the hardest mode in the game. And um, it starts right off the bat with Corneria, because you get a different version of Corneria uh, at level 3. Instead of a blue sky, you get a sunset, or the sunrise, and I don't know. But uh, enemies are a little more difficult. You also get a different boss at the end of Corneria 3. Corneria, the base. You've chosen course 3! A good choice to take Venom by surprise! As I announce out loud for all to hear. But wait! The worst is yet to come! Tune in next time. Same Fox time! Same Fox Channel! Ironically being broadcast on UPN. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the channel with the Digimon reruns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Got a different backdrop here. And it is slightly harder. Not too much harder, though, because it still is the first stage. But let's see what we got in store for this. Let us go, shall we? Hey, I remember you. I kicked your ass. Satellite dishes, I can shoot projectiles. I also got more of these loop thingies. Will I get a twin blaster if I fly through these two? Take that, Direct TV. I fucking hate Dish TV. Hey, I saw these archways first. Thank you. Now I'm gonna fly through this last one. Get lost, vile fiend! At least it lasted 30 seconds this time. Open up! Thank you! Watch your aim, fox boy! Yeah, they throw more, um... The most dangerous projectiles, I believe, are the, the glowing orbs. Not so much the... The polygon lasers, because, again, those do more wing damage than anything else. The electrical orb-looking things just straight up fucking hurt. And, uh, that, 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 that's no way no. I'm gonna boost here to avoid the crumbling blue towers. What are these things? <laughs> I, can, I can't tell what anything is in this game. Like, even if I were to use my imagination, I, I got nothing. At least with these, I can figure there's some sort of watchtower. You know, these are skyscrapers, because they have emblems on them. Corneria emblems. But the blue things, you got me on that one. Ow. Bogey, um, yeah, by the way, your friends are prone to getting hurt a lot in level 3, too. I don't know if shooting the walking robots carrying the blue things does anything. Sometimes I also like to carry these, like, like oil rigs. I used to think that if you shoot the walking robots carrying boss parts, it makes the boss weaker. Though I think it's just coincidence that they just look like that. <laughs> so I'm not gonna look too deep into that. This guy right here is losing his mind. Got me a Nova Bomb though by killing him. Fuck yeah! Hooray, Nova Bomb. I love Nova Bombs. Get rid of that. Who's that? The attack carrier will be mine! Ha ha! Good one. That was a funny joke, Falco. 
But poisonly. Poisonly? I prefer you to fuck off! A Nova Bomb or a Checkpoint? It's like a high-risk, high-reward sort of situation. Well, you, you already maxed out on Nova Bomb, so... Yeah, it's yeah. like, I don't, I don't get a Checkpoint, but I got a Bomb! Boost! Go up! Boost again! Oh, I was out of boost. <laughs> Stop that guy from returning that. Ooh, okay, we're good. Yeah, so this is level three corn area. It's not the uh, the flying space attack area. This is like it's like a turret, like a tank, and it has three wake points as opposed to three. Yeah, it's about to say they had three in the other one too. Alrighty, then that takes care of that one. Now these flying tops here will turn to face you. That's when you shoot them. Watch out, though, because as soon as you kill two, the third one will attempt to kamikaze you. Also, they regenerate the little cores in the bottom, so kill the tops first. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. There you go. You're nothing now. Alright, we got this in the bag! Hooray. Alright, so the secret to unlocking out of this dimension is in the second level of level 3. Let's try saying that five times fast. Uh, it's in the asteroid level. What do we have to do? We have to shoot an asteroid. That's no, the same thing as last time. Uh, not quite. While unlocking the black hole required us to shoot the center asteroid of three specific asteroid belts, we are looking for one of those giant background asteroids. We're shooting the second one that appears. We're shooting the fuck out of it, too. And, uh, thankfully for us, we have twin blasters, so that should be easier to accomplish. That's good. But, just to be safe, we're gonna use a safe state here, just in case I fuck up. Good luck. And I realize I skipped the General Pepper thing, but I'm sorry. <laughs> we're pressed for time. Well, not really. I mean, I'm the last game of the Nintendo Thon, but I'd rather not be playing at 2 in the morning, so... Yep. Woo! Alright, so what we're doing here is not just a matter of shooting the second asteroid, the big asteroid that we see. It's also a matter of running into the thing that it unleashes. Yeah, well, not like the asteroid fights back, but, you know, it does release something when you destroy it. How you far into the level is it? Not too far. We're almost there, actually. In fact, that thing to the left right there, that's one of the big asteroids, but that's not the one we're shooting. We're shooting to the one that appears on the right. There it is. Locked on target, men. Shoot the fuck out of it. There you go. It blows up. It releases an egg. Which releases a space bird. And you gotta fly into the bird. Do not miss the bird. Do not miss the bird. I got the bird. Hooray. Now for the bonus level. The biggest mindfuck probably in the history of Star Fox, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not kidding. Out of this dimension. Come in, our wings. Fox, where are you? Oh, he asked a uh, question mark there. We need you to protect Corneria. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Welcome to Out of This Dimension, folks. A mindfuck of a level. You got meteors and planets with faces behind you, and your enemies for this are paper planes. And you may recognize the music in the background. I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, I have, you know... No words. No, yeah, there are no words to describe this. It's like, guys, you remember how high we got when we made Mario? I miss that feeling. <laughs> Why don't we go back to that feeling? <laughs> Just for one level. Okay. <laughs> Load <him> up. <laughs> Paper planes, origami, you name it. We're fighting all kinds of shit here. Though the origami paper planes 
will burst into more paper if you shoot it. So you're gonna have to deal with more enemies after that. You got these spinners here. If you shoot the light, you can get it to reverse its direction, or you can just get it to outright stop. Whatever floats your boat. They're not moving really fast anyway, so you can just boost past them if you need to. Can't imagine this level goes on for very long either. Uh, it goes on for about four minutes. Eh. Then the boss just inexplicably shows up. Besides that, yeah, besides the paper planes and the towers, there's really no other enemies here. I remember, like, uh, first time I ever saw this level was uh, my uncle uh, ran into it when showing off Star Fox. Uh, and my, uh, I just moved into the house at this point. And it was like, what am I looking at? This is one of those levels, those secrets that just leave an impression on you. Yeah, I didn't see this until I saw it on YouTube, so. It was like, what the hell am I looking at? But you know what, though? I love shit like this, you know, like secrets. These games don't really have them anymore. Yeah, if not, the, if they do, they're just not as radical as they are, as they, as they used to be. And I don't mean, like, radical, like, ironically, 90s, but, you know, just out there. Alright, I think we're about to reach the boss. Yep. Time for the boss up out of this dimension. What could it be? Oh. Why is it a flying slot machine? <laughs> I think it's... Why can it be a giant slot machine? Personally, yeah. I prefer a pachinko. <laughs> Personally, I prefer to gamble. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, our final boss for this Nintendo Thought session is a slot machine. How do you kill it? You gotta get triple sevens. How do you get triple sevens? You spin the wheel. This boss battle is luck base. God knows how long we'll be here. I say hopefully about maybe five minutes if we're lucky. If you get a good result, it will drop coins. The coins are health. And, oh, it didn't give me a thing to save the seven. Yeah, but we are trying to get triple sevens. And when you get it, it's up to the game. This is RNG the boss. What we don't want are any Androsses. If you get even just one, it unleashes enemies at you. That wasn't too bad. But if you want to avoid the enemies altogether, you can just hang out in the bottom. Um, unfortunately, I shot one of the triangles, so that star is going to be locked in place, which means this reel is not going to be triple sevens. I can at least try hopefully get one seven, or at least two, and hopefully they stay in place. That's one seven. Can I save that one, please? Yes! Both sevens. Awesome. Cool. Alright, baby. I'm feeling lucky. Give me another seven. Come on, sevens. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop no whammies, no whammies, no, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yeah, we did it! Hooray! That didn't take very long at all. Oh, what's going mad? It's going into Lucky Overdrive! The ultimate of prizes. Also your last prize, because it's blowing up point blank in your face. <laughs> 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 and that's it, folks. After that, you get these, you know, you get the credits. And then uh, after all these credits, you're going to be able to uh, shoot the the end screen. That, uh, well, the, the end uh, pops up in uh, 3D uh, letters that you can shoot. Uh, besides that, though, this is just, again, this is it. We already kind of saw the credits, so we really don't need to watch these again. Oh, no, I, th I don't think these credits are as long as the, um, the end game credits. I think it just gives you, like, a few of the credits here. So oh, this oh. is the non-canon ending where everyone goes into another dimension and never, are never heard from again. That a fox goes into another dimension. <laughs> there ain't no Peppy here, no Slippy, and that especially ain't Falco. So what does Fox do from now on? <laughs> he just flies endlessly. I don't know, maybe Planet Face over there has some good eats. And I'm not sure about that blue planet over there. Its eyes are open, though. Kind of don't like how the way it's undressing me with its eyes. You can see more planets, like, while the world is tripping out. But uh, you can't see them anymore after you get uh, to the... Um, after you finish the slot machine because the world stabilizes itself afterwards. Okay, I think I want to end this on shooting the end, so... This is the last thing we're doing. 
So what does chat think about of this dimension? And do we have any more donations? No new donations in the chat. It's like, what am I smoking? Yeah. <laughs> That's Star Fox, baby. <laughs> you know what they Pretty call much. that? They call it Lila in Europe. <laughs> That's what the feds have a harder time tracking it down. What, is Star Fox an illegal drug now? Yes. It's called Lila in Europe. Terrible. Assisted by Argonaut software. I wonder what happened to them. Yeah, good point. All right, here we are. The end. All right, let's get this there. Actually, the twin blast is probably gonna make this a little harder than it needs to be. Right. Oh yeah. By the way, you get enemies that fuck it up too. Yeah. I just got a message from Tom. Tomorrow's games are Donkey Kong '94, which is the Game Boy game, Super Mario World, Metroid Fusion, and Banjo Kazooie. Awesome stuff, and I believe the 100% incentive was made for banjos. Yay! Yep. The end, ladies and gentlemen. After that, uh, the Saints come marching in, plays in the background, the slot machine music, and then you just keep shooting the end until you feel so you want to die. This is pretty much a glorified screensaver. All right, folks. Then the next time I will see you is uh, I'm actually I'm going to be co-comming with Volk and Donnie for Super Mario World, and then I got a 100% Metroid Fusion playthrough for you guys. So look forward to that. Ryan, are you joining us for anything else? Mm, I don't believe for tomorrow, no. Not for tomorrow, no. Okay, but I think the next time me and you are pairing up is for Super Castlevania 4, isn't it? Yep. All right, then. Me and Ryan together will see you guys for Super Castlevania 4. Look forward to that. And remember, that ain't Falco. Poisonly. Poisonly. I prefer that ain't Falco.